My name is Scott Palmer. We're in upstate New York. This is Springbrook Orchards with its sister company, Reality Research. This company was actually started with my parents and my wife and I 14 years ago, but we've actually been doing research for over 30 years on this farm. We actually started out working for a professor from Cornell that uh, saw a need for independent contract research to being done. So he actually had bought this farm. We worked with him in the 80s and then took it over a few years later that now has become Reality Research. One of the reasons why that name changed was really because what people saw here compared to many other places was real. What we do, a grower could simulate, could reenact in his own farm. Every day is different here on the farm. One day we'll be working on the farm picking apples, which we are doing today. We also may be uh, working on potatoes or peppers for sizes or for fungicide trials. That's what's exciting. Uh, we get to see so much. We get to work with such great people. Our customers, uh, whether they be chemical companies, biological companies, or f other farmers, or the consumers, you know, the people that eat our apples. It's exciting because again, we all work together. It, this uh, idea of farm to fork, it's always been a reality. It's just now it's trying to get everybody to still understand that chain and how we're all trying to do better. Our mainstay that we've been working on is conventional spraying. What we started doing many years ago was mating disruptions. The reason why we started doing mating disruption was because a lot of our conventional chemistries were no longer working in the way that we were using them. And then that was really our first step into looking at things that could be organic. When we first started looking at biologics, one of our biggest problems was we were looking at them as conventionals and they don't act the same way. They don't work the same way and you need to put them in programs. If you look at specific products, sometimes they're doomed to fail. You have to look at things in a program approach as any grower would have to do it. So because we are now looking at biologicals in a whole different light and realizing we can't treat them as conventionals, it's given us a lot more in-depth understanding as to how to use them even in a conventional program. So one of the exciting things we're doing this year is we're even putting regalia on brand new nursery stock. And then we're gonna be putting those into orchards. Why we're a research company is we're gonna actually take some of those trees and inoculate those with fire, fire blight during blossom blight time and again during trauma blight time to see what kind of residual we have of, of an effect the following year. How big is that? compared to what we could ever do conventionally, to find something that we could have a response in the following year to help us have good solid trees. Our expense of putting in a high density planting conventionally is somewhere between 10 and $20,000 an acre. That's a huge investment and to only be able to lose that to a trauma blight uh, strike could be devastating to a grower, even one acre. So being able to do these things properly is huge. Nobody wants to hurt the environment. Nobody wants to to ruin the land that their families have grown up on and are trying to make profitable year after year. When you have corn, it's very different than you when you have a perennial crop that's gonna be there maybe you know, 20, 30, 40 years. So we all want that. What's unique about some of these things that's going forward is our profitability can change. Because if we can go organic now, our markets widen. We can take something that's uh, conventionally run and double our money because now we're doing it organically, sometimes that's a much better way to go than try to go with something that's a high density fresh fruit planting necessarily for someone who's been a process grower for many years. So one of the things that we're doing is making programs without lime sulfur. So, so our, even our organic programs are being adjusted because of the biologicals and the SARR uh, response products we have such as regalia bringing to the table that we don't necessarily have those harsh chemicals even though we're organic we don't need to use them anymore as well.